Welcome back to the Beaufort News. Mayor Billy Kaiserling joins us now. Mayor Billy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Love to be here. We're so glad to have you as always. So, you know, we're in election season right now, and of course, it's all this week. It's all happened and happening. So, we've, let's talk a little bit about this, just kind of openly for the moment. Now, you've spent most of your life, as we know, in and around not only politics, but their campaigns and government, typically. So, what do you see in the future? What's most on your mind at this time of year? Well, well I think first we're, we're only <clears throat> one day for election, and, and I'm counting the minutes until we're finished. I find that <clears throat> the country is so divided over superficial things. I think we're more focused on our differences we're more fo than, our, than, than our commonalities. Um, I think we are one nation under God, divisible by all. <clears throat> but I find that the huge amounts of money the exploitation of fear, the lack of vision and hope, <clears throat> the inability to unite, um, and the, the choice, basically, to, to trump up fears is ripping us apart. I wrote about this in my newsletter last week. I'm writing about it this week. We are deeply divided. You know, we, <clears throat> we went through an American Revolution chasing an ideal. We tripped on a civil war where that idea was challenged, but 150 years later, we're still <clears throat> healing those wounds. And what I find is that, that people are, are more interested in, in picking at the scabs and opening up the wounds than moving forward. We have such capacity in this country. We have such good people in this country. We have so many people who would leadership um, and I'm not talking about the presidential level particularly, but with leadership in our communities, leadership in our churches, leadership in our civic organizations, could really be holding hands and marching forward to make this country and the world a better place for all. And I find that this election um, <clears throat> has been distractive, has distorted the American psyche, has made enemies out of friends, um, mostly oversight or what the pundits will call wedge issues, rather than <clears throat> what is the future? What is it we're going to leave to the next generation? So I'm hoping on Wednesday morning we're all going to wake up with a sigh of relief <clears throat> that it's over with, that it was painful, that we'll live with whatever the results are, and that we'll move forward. The only challenge, of course, is that <clears throat> Wednesday morning we start the 2020 presidential election cycle, and we'll have more at it. So I, 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 my plea is that we, <clears throat> let's look local. Let's look at what we can do to make Hilton Head and Beaufort and Bluffton and Port Royal <clears throat> and South Carolina what we want it to be. Let's not look at why someone looks different, what, how someone thinks different. Um, let's get rid of the hate. Let's, let's, let's reunite the love. Let's, let's come back to the, to the basic principles upon which this great nation was found. Billy, very quickly, and we're running out of time, but I think the viewers would love to hear, just what, what would you say is the thing that we need to do? I'm sure that there are many, but what would you say is among the top things that we need to do to see that vision that you're just talking about now um, come into focus and get away from these divisions that you're discussing? Right. Well, I, I tell you what I'm going to do, and, but it's what I do all the time, <clears throat> is that I'm very fortunate in that I'm the mayor of a council of only five members, each of whom is elected citywide, so we don't have districts to fight over, <clears throat> and each of whom comes to the table um, with an ability to, to, to build consensus so that we get what the people want done. So I would recommend that anyone, that those on different sides say, okay, it's over with. Now let's sit, let's sit together. Let's talk. Let's see what, where we can find common ground. <clears throat> and let's get some hope again. Let's get some hope. Let's instill in the young people the hope that there'll be a future. So the short answer is we need to start talking again, talking to listening to, not talking at, and ignoring. Well, I don't think that any of us can disagree with that. Poignant words. Thank you very much, Mayor Billy, for being on the show. Glad to have you. Thank you.